Chapter 131 A crisp snap resonated. Lucy's spine also broke. Another one. Both husband and wife were quadriplegics. There would never be a chance of recovery. Adam walked forward and said respectfully, Boss, the 500 excavators and bulldozers I've mobilized have arrived. We will flatten the entire gold-class enterprise to the ground with just one order from you. Good, Alex nodded and said coldly, notify all the workers to evacuate this place in five minutes. Five minutes later, bring this place to the ground like it never existed. Both Swift and Lucy gaped in extreme shock. All the hard work that they've been fighting and building, and this was how it ended. They were done, for sure. They could only be a living dead. If they didn't have any money, who would take care of them? Alex couldn't care less. He asked his man to turn on the fire alarm, and immediately, the entire factory began to evacuate. Alex carried Emma who was in deep slumber, and asked his men to carry Swift and Lucy who were paralyzed. When they walked out of the office building, the entire factory was almost evacuated. The workers ran out as if they were fleeing for their lives, thinking that there was a fire. At this time, 500 excavators and bulldozers had surrounded the factory. Thousands of men that Adam summoned were outside the factory perimeter, evacuating all the workers to the safe zone. Standing in the square, Alex said to Swift and Lucy, I want you to see with your own eyes as your hard work turns to ashes. Then, he immediately said to Adam, let the excavators and bulldozers in. Tear it down. The floor shook like there was an earthquake when the 500 excavators and bulldozers were driven into the factory area. The booms and the buckets on the excavators made huge movements like a team of heavy-duty tanks as they smashed into the rooftop and walls of the entire factory and tore them apart. The bulldozers came in and pushed the rubbles away, flattening the area entirely. Swift and Lucy watched the entire process in horror. This was all their hard work. All those workshops and factories, every brick, every tile, every beam, everything was the result of the hard work half of their lives. It could be said that the factory was like their child. Now, they had to watch their child being torn down which was as tormenting and horrible as if they were being tortured. Both of them didn't want to live in this world anymore at this moment, all they could think of was to just die. However, it didn't work. Alex would not let them die so easily. He wanted them to taste the pain for the rest of their lives. He glanced sideways at the couple and said, I'll spare your lives, but remember, if anyone dares to reveal my identity, I'll kill them and their entire family. I won't even spare a dog's life. Do you understand me? They wailed in fright. Oh no, we will not dare to disobey you, young master. Please. We will not tell anyone about you. Alex nodded. Looking at the paralyzed couple and then the gold-class enterprise that had become ruins and rubbles, Alex felt the ill breath in his heart finally release. He ordered Adam, send the helicopter here, I want to take my wife home. Adam nodded respectfully, then asked, Boss, I think your wife has been drugged, do you want to send her to the hospital first, or I'll get a doctor to your house? Alex shook his hand. No, just send us home. When they were finally home, Emma was still unconscious. This was mainly because Alex didn't extract the qigong from her body.